Hello traders, FS Trip Collector here. So today is Tuesday. So happy Tuesday and it is April 16th. So how's everybody doing today? Hopefully a fairly good day. We've had a really good week, honestly. It's only Tuesday and we've had some very, very profitable trades. So definitely, definitely looking very, very good. Just real quick, just to remind everybody that anybody that is a member of my uh, membership program does get access to all my swing trade setups. These are some of the swing trades that I've offered to the group this week. We sorted the Aussie Kiwi, definitely very, very profitable. We're long on oil. You can check the charts, definitely, definitely another very profitable trade. Your pound, we're long, nice little trade. Uh, the Euro CAD was the kind of the highlight we, we, we for me, uh, we had Canadian news today, and this thing made a huge push up. As, and this right here is when I told everybody I was getting in the trade today. We got in right here, stop loss right there, and you can check the Euro CAD chart. It actually ended up going up to about there, so that was a beautiful trade today. Very, very, very nice trade. Uh, sorted the US dollar Swiss, sorted the Aussie Kiwi, which I'm still holding that. That was another very, very good trade. Um, and what else did we do this week? The Euro Pound, I got in the Euro Pound a few different times this week. Pound Dollar, we went sort the Pound Dollar yesterday. As everybody knows, the Pound Dollar and the Euro Dollar is, a, is another trade that we took that was very, very profitable. And the Euro Cad, the Euro Dollar, this is where I entered the Euro Dollar yesterday. We got in here, stop loss just barely above the high. And that ended up pushing down almost to the 78% Fibonacci re retracement on the daily time frame. So that was another trade that I said with my group at the time of entry. Long on the US dollar CAD, that was another extremely profitable trade. This is all just between Monday and Tuesday. These are all the trades that I've taken just in the last two days. We went short. Uh, I went short on the Aussie Swiss. That was another amazing trade. And we went long on the pound Aussie. And if you check your pound Aussie charts, you can see that this right here was basically the bottom. We got in right here, and the pound Aussie broke these highs today. So that was another extremely profitable trade today. So it's been a really, really amazing week for me. And anybody that's in the group following along with my swing trades, these are all the swing trades that I did take with my premium members today. Like I said, it's not really a signal service, but I do tell everybody when I'm getting in a trade and I tell everybody where my stop loss is. I don't really use take profit, so you don't really get my take profit, but I do tell you when I'm getting out of a trade. So those are all the trades that I took today. Like I said, I share every single swing trade that I do take with my members in the group. We've been we've taken about eight, ten trades already this week, and boy, we've had some very, very profitable trades. Every single time I enter a trade, I tell people I'm getting in. I tell people where my stop loss is, and we do these live trading sessions every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We do a 90-minute London meeting, which is a Zoom meeting, and every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we do a 90-minute uh, New York meeting starting at 1 p.m. UK time. The London meeting starts at 7.30 UK time. These are live trading sessions. A lot of the trades that I just showed you guys were taking in these live Zoom meetings. So for $30 a month, you do get access to all my swing trade setups. You get access to all the private dis Discord channels. You get access to all the educational information on Discord. <clears throat> you get access to my trading course, which is right here, about 35 videos. And you get access to the live trading sessions. And like I said, we've had some amazing, amazing trades this week. Definitely go through if you want. If you got a little bit of free time, definitely go through and check out some of these trades. Like I said, these are proof in the pudding. Right here, this is the trade. Some of the trades that I took this week. So definitely check these out for yourself. We went long on the euro pound. As you can see, took a long on the euro pound, 40 pip stop loss. Uh, I took a short. I went short, 16 pip stop loss. I tell everybody where my stop loss is. I tell everybody where I'm getting in. And definitely go ahead and check some of these trades out for yourself. This was a trade that we took yesterday. I took every, uh, you can see the timestamp yesterday morning at 12 in the afternoon UK time. And this is the trade that I posted for the people in my chats. Amazing, amazing trades. We were sorted the uh, pound CAD. We were long, uh, short the pound dollar. And like I said, I already went through this once when we did the euro pound. We went, did the Aussie Kiwi. Uh, US dollar Swiss, I kind of scalped to the short side today. That was not a bad trade for a scalp. And the Euro CAD was definitely one of the highlights of the week for me. 
Uh, we got in today, uh, hours before the news came out for the Canadian news, got in here, stop loss there. And this thing ended up going up a lot. So that was a really, really good trade. That was about a 4 to 1 risk to reward trade right there. And the euro pound and a couple other ones. But like I said, definitely check it out on the charts for yourself. And you will see that most of these trades are very profitable. We went long on oil today. That was definitely profitable. We went short on the Aussie Kiwi today and another nice trade. So like I said, if anybody is interested in joining my membership, I mean, you get a lot for your money. I share every single trade that I get in with the group because like I always say, the purpose for me is to teach you to trade. But how else is, uh, what is a really good way for you to learn to trade? A good way for you to learn to trade is to earn while you're learning. So that way you can keep your confidence up. That's why I call it learn and earn at the same time because while you're learning, you're going to be earning if you follow along with my trade setups. Uh, we I just showed you guys about 10, 8 to 10 trades that we've taken this week. I think out of all 8 or 10 of those trades, I might have had maybe 1 or 2 losses. Everything else was a winner. So it's been an amazing, amazing week for me and everybody in the group. So if anybody is interested, the link is fxcryptcollector.com. Link that's uh, pretty easy to remember. If anybody is interested in joining my free Discord channel, the Discord channel itself is 100% free to join. You do not have to pay a dime to join. You're not going to get access to my free swing trade setups, and you're not going to get access to my trading course or my live trading sessions on Discord. But when I hit 5,000 members on Discord, which are currently at 4,952, so 48 members on Discord, and I'm going to give away 100 USDT to one of my members on Discord. This is the free channels right here. These are the free channels. And it's a very, very active group. All kinds of people in here selling the charts. As you can see, people share their charts, share their trade ideas. You know, we, this is all the free channels right here. These, you know, people selling their trades, selling their profits, selling some of their winning trades. And I do have a place for losing trades too because, you know, it's not like it's all uh sun sunshine and flowers every single day i mean everybody has losing days so everything where it says members chats down is for the members only every place where it says public chats is for the free free chats but like i said definitely go ahead and check out some of these trades you can pause this live stream later on and you can watch and you can look back on the charts and check out some of these trades that we've taken we've had some uh a very 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 amazing week so definitely check out the link in the chats. It's fxcryptcollector.com. If anybody is interested in joining, the website is fxcryptcollector.com. And just join here. Join there. Very, very, very cheap membership. I try to keep it as cheap as possible because I want people to not feel like they're stressed out about money. I want people to learn and earn at the same time. So anyways, definitely check that out. You can go through, pause the live stream, and check out some of those trades that I just showed you because every single one of those trades were time stamped and you can see the screenshots before it happens. So definitely check that out. So, anyways, I like to do these live streams every Tuesday and every Thursday as a way to thank the subscribers on YouTube. You know, it's a good way for me to interact with the audience, it's a good way for me to take requests from the audience. So if anybody has something they would like me to look at for them, definitely put it in the chat. So I'd be more than happy to look at basically anything. I'm definitely a Forex trader, but I do look at commodities. I do look at some cryptos. And I definitely don't really do stock market, but I do do indices and stuff like that. So let's see here. So let's start off right at the beginning. Hey, Danny, how's it going? Hopefully you're still here. I'm going to start off with you. You said gold and oil. So let's start off with gold. I mean, I still think gold is clearly in a wave three on the monthly, and I think it's clearly also in a wave three on the daily. So I do think that gold is probably not over. Now, maybe just maybe it's going to make a correction, but it definitely looks like an ABC correction on the four hour time frame. One, two, three waves down. My next area of resistance on gold is actually this 138.3 Fibonacci extension level which is just below the 2440 area, probably like 2430. So I'm definitely still bullish on gold. I mean, anybody that has done anything on gold over the last several weeks, anybody that has gone long for pretty much any reason on gold over the last several weeks has probably done amazingly good. As you can see, we've been in a big uptrend. 
probably about the only way that you've lost money on gold is if you try to go short, and that's probably what most people are doing, to be honest with you. I do think that this is very clearly an ABC crutch, and I think this is most likely a wave one. I think this is most likely a wave two. Now, I would definitely throw my Fibonacci on here just in case. So let's do that real quick. Let's throw a Fibonacci on there from here to here because there's always a chance that it could turn into like a, you know, like a 3-3 pattern or something like that. So I would definitely keep an eye on my Fibonacci retracement levels as areas of resistance. But to me, it looks like one, two, three waves down. Most likely this is a 1, 2, 3, and I think there's a very good likelihood it's going to end up at this 138.3 Fibonacci extension. I think it's very likely this is a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, and a 5. Now, like I said, I would throw my Fibonacci retracement on here because I do see the possibility of this turning into a 3-3 three, three pattern. Three waves down, three waves up. If it does turn into a 3-3 pattern, then there is definitely a possibility that it could turn down at one of these two fib levels. So if you see it make like a big engulfing move down at either the 61.8 or the 78.6, you know, something like that, or possibly something like this, then I would definitely get out of my logs and maybe even go sort, because there is a chance that this is an ABC and this turns into a 3-3 pattern. So if you see three waves down, three waves up, then it's either going to be a flat, three waves, three waves, five waves, which would be a flat, or it'd be a WXY, which is three waves down, three waves up, and then three waves down, which is a WXY. So it's definitely a possibility that it could turn into a WXY or a flat, but I still think that there's so much buying pressure, and I think there's a lot, a really good chance that this 2440 area is probably very, very likely to get hit. So let's go check out oil for Danny also. Uh, oil is a trade that I did take today. I actually got out because usually when I do trade oil, I am scalping it, but I honestly don't really think it's over. Um, I actually think there's a, probably a pretty good chance that oil is going to keep on going up. I kind of think there's a pretty good chance that this is a trend, wave A. This is one, two, three waves up, wave B. I think the 100% Fibonacci extension is going to be the most likely area for this to end. Um, and I think that this, uh, right around $100 is probably, $100 a pair is probably the most likely place for this. Then I think there's a pretty good chance that it is going to go down. I think it is going to break the lows and I think it is going to make a wave C. But this is the weekly time frame. So obviously that's a very high time frame. So let's take it down to a shorter time frame. I did go long on oil today. I already got out of the trade because like I said, I was scalping, but. I don't really, I don't really trade commodities. I don't mind holding on to forex pairs overnight and stuff, but I don't really trade commodities that much. So I think that this right here is speaking of flats. I think that this right here is a really, really good example of a flat. Look at this: one, two, three waves down. A, one, two, three waves up. B, and then this is definitely a trend. One, two, three, four, five waves down. That is in a extremely good example of a regular flat equal highs for the way b lower low wave c that is like one of the best examples you can find for a flat and part of the benefits of being a member is i do have this tab on for my members only it's the educational tab and pretty much every single pattern you can think of is in there when it comes to earlier wave um, and this right here is part of being a member of my group is you get access to this educational tab And if you look right here, this is a, bear, a Bow and a bear version of a flat and boy oil did almost exactly this one two three waves down a one two three waves up B five waves down C This is an extremely 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 good version of a flat on oil and like I said, basically every single Elliott Way pattern you can think of is in my tab right here. So definitely check it out. There, You get a lot of really, really, really good information for your money, that's for sure. So yeah, let's keep going. We looked at oil. I kind of think that oil might keep going up, long story short. I mean, maybe it is going to go down one more time because it seems like this needs to make one, two, three waves down before it goes up. But I think this has found a low, and I think this is possibly a 1, this is possibly a 2, and it most likely is going to go up for wave 3, is what I think is going to happen. 
So, like I said, if anybody has any requests, definitely put them in the chat. I'd be more than happy to look at basically anything. Definitely uh, join my free Discord channel. It is 100% free to join, and you never have to pay a dime. And I will be giving away 100 USDT to one lucky member when I hit 5,000 numbers on Discord, which we're currently at 4,952. So if you do want a chance to win free USDT, 100 free USDT, then definitely join. It's 100% free to join. Never had to pay a dime. So let's move on. So let's look at the pound yen and the yo yen for uh, Robin. Thanks for coming, Robin. Thanks, Danny, for the request. I personally think that the yen pairs are still going up. I think that this is an ABC crutch, and I think this is another example of a flat, which I'll show you in a second, but one, two, three waves down. 50% Fibonacci retracement. I think that this is going to go up. I think it is going to take out the previous highs. And my next area of resistance on this is actually all the way up here, which is around the 168 area. So I don't know about this yen pairs. I mean, the yen pairs have been in an uptrend right now for about four years. This is a four-year uptrend right now. So I don't really think that it's worth trying to go short in a big way unless you're like day trading i mean obviously there's some money to be made on some of these sorts but if you really forget about the counter trend trading and really focus on the trend trading you're not only going to have a really a much higher probability of winning trades but you're going to have way more profit than if you tried to focus on counter trend trading so obviously i'm a trend trader which you can pretty much tell from that statement this is another very, very, very good example of a flat. We've had a lot of flats lately. I feel like the market makes a lot of uh, regular flats, expanded flats, and running flats. One, two, three waves down. One, two, three waves up. Five waves down. 50% Fibonacci. We made a pretty ing aggressive turn down today, but I honestly don't think it's over. I honestly think it's still going up. And I'm definitely still looking for longs. There's no break of spots there. There's no evidence at all that the trend is down, not even remotely. I mean, like I said, it was a pretty impulsive move down, but no break of spots no lower high, no shorts for me. Looking for longs. Definitely, I'm a trend trader, tr true and true. I trade with the trend until my roadmap time frames tell me that the trend is over. And I definitely don't see any reason to think the trend is over yet. The pound yen is definitely struggling to go up a little bit. The pound is a little bit on the weak side right now. I was thinking that the pound yen would go up to 194 before we saw a pullback, but maybe it will make it there. I still think it is going to because this looks like the end of a crescent right here, so I still think it's going to go up to about 194. I don't see any evidence to think otherwise. Now, we definitely did get an impulsive move down today, but does that prove that the trend is over? Did they ever break structure to the downside? Did they give us really any reason at all to think that the trend had turned down? Besides an impulsive move to the downside? That's definitely not enough to tell me the trend has turned. Especially when you're talking about the yen pairs. Like I said, this is a four-year uptrend. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it made a higher low. You know, and just continued the uptrend, so... Definitely, definitely looking for longs. 100%. Definitely, definitely. So, like I said, uh, if you guys saw those swing trades that I said with the group this week, um, another benefit is every single day during those live streams, every single pair on this list right here, I go through every single pair on this list in my Zoom meetings for my premium members twice a day except for on Monday. I only do one Zoom meeting on Monday, but I do a London Zoom meeting and I do a New York Zoom meeting every single weekday. And like I said, definitely feel free to watch this live stream over later on Go through and pause the video and just check out for yourself how profitable some of these trades were. These are all the trades that I said with the group at the time of entry with the stop loss. I don't give take profits because I don't use take profits. But I do tell you when I'm getting out of the trades, like right here, close the US dollar CAD. I tell you when I'm getting out, but I do not set take profits. I think one of the foolest, I think the idea of... Uh, Risk to reward ratios and using take profits is a really foolish concept because you need to let those winners run. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to take a 2 to 1 hour an hour, a 3 to 1 hour an hour. You need to look for those big trades, you know, 5, 6, 7, 12 hour trades. 
I would never want to limit myself to how much money I could make on a trade. If the market wants to give me a 12 risk to reward trade, then I want to take a 12 risk to reward trade. I'm not going to just take get out at a 3 to 1 and then next thing you know, the thing just keeps on going and going and going. Definitely, definitely not. So yeah, let's keep on moving. The pound kiwi and boy, the pound kiwi, man. Huh? What a trend. I think we're in a wave 5 on the pound kiwi. I think we're going to go up and break these highs right here. I think it's going to end up looking something like that on the daily. So definitely, definitely still very bullish on the pound kiwi. And look at this shape right here. I'm going to take a page right out of my mentor's book. Have you ever seen this shape right here? Hmm. Does that look like a recognizable shape? Does it look like maybe it needs to make a wave 4 and a wave 5? Hmm. I think potentially we could use that shape to make lots and lots and lots and lots of money in the market. So I do think, I do see that it's going down, but look at this. One, two. Hey, my new buddy, how's it going? Hopefully you caught that long on gold today. You definitely hit that one right on the head. One, two, three, four, five. Man, you is a gold expert, man. He kills it on gold. So one, two, and three. I think it's extremely clear that this is a wave four, and it's probably going to go back up for a wave five. So definitely still looking for longs. I don't think that this is over. I definitely don't think it's over. Oh, that pound twist didn't really go up much, did it? Yeah, it didn't. Hmm, I know a couple people in the group took this today. I didn't actually take this trade, but I know some people in the group definitely did. Oh, you did take it. Awesome job, Menu. Awesome. Congratulations, buddy. That was a sweet trade, and Menu called it. Everybody, A lot of people were saying gold was going to go down, including me. I thought maybe gold would go down. Menu was like, nope, gold's going up. So, I still think that we're going down, but I think that it's a wave forward. I still think it needs to go up. So, I'm looking at this as a wave four. I thought the wave A would might have been over, but yeah, I guess not. I think this is a wave A. I still think it could be over. It's just kind of messing with us. I think there's a good chance it's going to go up, finish off a wave B, like this is an A, B, C, or B, and then it's probably going to go down to the 38% to make a wave C. Unless it turns into some sort of a complex correction, which is definitely possible. But I would say the 38.2% is pretty likely right around the 1.12605 area. That's probably where I would be looking for this to possibly end the wave 4 and continue back up. So let's uh, keep going. Let me see the AU. So yeah, definitely. Let me switch back to these charts for the AU. Oh, man, look at that. Wow, nice. We just bounced off to 78% on the AU. Wow, look at that. I was say, I've been saying for two days, at least two or three days now, that the Aussie dollar was going to hit this 78% Fib level. It kind of looks like it might not be over. It probably is more likely to make a wave 4 or wave 5. And then if it breaks structure, I'll turn into a buyer. If it doesn't break structure, I'll just keep on selling. I mean, if it just makes a makes a normal pullback, then I'll just keep on going short every single chance I get. No problem at all. So, man, long story short, I do think that I do think it's probably going to go up, but I think that move up is very, very, very likely to be a crutch into the downtrend. So, I do think it is going to go up. I do think it is going to break structure, but I think it's going to be a crutch and. Probably a, probably a wave 4, and then probably down again for a wave 5. Or maybe it's a subdivision of a much larger uptrend, uh, downtrend. If it makes a 4 or 5 and, set, and then bounces, but doesn't break the wave 4 high, and then makes another lower high, I'll just keep on going short. I am definitely going to continue to trade with the trend until the trend is proven to be over on at least a 4-hour time frame and up. So I think there's a good chance that it will go up and break starts there, but... Man, I would definitely be focused on sorts. Even if it, I would actually let it go up anyways, I wouldn't even try to trade the long. If it goes up and breaks structure, then at that point, if you are a scalper, then you could definitely try to get in at the end of a wave B. But as of right now, even a, even as a scalper, I wouldn't be trying to go long for the wave A because it's not really confirmed to be a wave A until the wave A is pretty much over. 
And it might not even do that. I don't know that it's going to go up. The trend is down on every other time frame. So how do I know it's going to go up? It could possibly just make a lower high and just keep going down. I think it is going to go up. I think it is going to break Stratzer, but there's really no way of actually knowing that it's going to do that until you have a break of Stratzer to the upside. And then once you have that break of Stratzer, then you could take it on the pullback, uh, the wave B or the wave 2 pullback. So let's keep on going. So I already did gold. Uh, we got quite a few requests, so I'll definitely uh, probably not going to look at things more than once. The yellow dollar didn't quite hit that 78%, but it's definitely close enough for me to call a hit. I mean, yeah, I definitely missed it by a couple pips, but I think that's close enough to call a hit. I think it's pretty likely this is going to make a 4 or 5 also, and then if it breaks Strutzer, I will become a buyer. If it doesn't break Strutzer, then I'll just keep on selling. And if, it, if I'm wrong about this being a wave 2, which I've been saying for pretty much all week in my videos into last week also, I think this is a 1, I think this is a 2, but guess what, I'm looking for sorts right now, and if I'm wrong about this being a wave 2, which I think is a big misconception from a lot of people, because they're like, oh, you're wrong, yeah, I was, a lot of times when I'm wrong, I still make money in the markets, because guess what, I think this is a wave 2, I think this is possibly could break structure and go up, but guess what, until I actually see proof that it's going up, I'm not going long, guess what I'm doing? I'm going to go short, and if it goes down, and it goes down, and it goes down, and I'm wrong about it being a wave 2, is that going to affect my trading in any negative way if I'm wrong about my early wave count? The only way it would affect my trading is if I went long without any confirmation. Like right now, I went long thinking that it was going to do that without any confirmation. That would affect my account, but I would never do that. I would never trade to the long side until I see confirmation that it's going up. Then I'll start looking for longs, definitely. Man, the uh, yo the yo dollar still hasn't broken stocks. So it looks like a it actually we had to go down to the thirty minutes to see it, but it definitely looks like a trend. One, two, three, four, five. It's either a wave one or a wave A. I would say there's a very good odds that this is a question, like a wave B, whoops, a wave B or a wave 2. I think there's a very good chance this is going to make a higher low, higher low, and it's going to go up and break Strutzer for either a wave C or a wave 3. But I also think that this is part of a wave 4 on the daily time frame, and eventually it's going to go back down just like what I was showing on the daily. So I am definitely, definitely primarily still looking for sorts. I'm not really a scalper, so I, you know I trade the one hour time frame. Sometimes I'll go down to the 30 minute. Uh, for the most part, I don't really go below the one hour. I do day trade, but you know it's kind of a mixture between day trading and swing trading. Let's see. I did the Aussie dollar. We did gold. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, S and P 500. Now, the S&P 500 is another pair that I do analyze every single day for my members. Like I said, if anybody is interested in joining it, it's only $30 a month, and I do sell every single swing trade with the group. I definitely suggest you rewatch this live stream from the beginning after I'm done, and pause the video and check out some of the trades that I sold. Every single trade that I take, I do sell with the members in my group at the time of entry. And I also do these live Zoom meetings twice a day, except for on Monday. I only do it once a day on Monday. So you definitely get a lot for your money, and it's only $30 a month. A lot of traders charge unreal amounts of money for this type of stuff that I do. So definitely check it out. You do get a lot for your money, that's for sure. So in a ways, I personally think that gold, that uh, S&P 500 is in a way for Taking it down to the sort of time frames, it kind of looks like it could possibly end the wave for here. Possibly. Kind of looks like it could. One, two, three waves. One, two, three waves. One, two, three, four, five waves. Kind of looks like the S&P 500 could start a rally towards the end of the week. We're about to break Strutzer. Which is good. If it breaks Strutzer, and then maybe tomorrow makes a pullback, at the end of that pullback, I would definitely be trying to get long, and it could even be the end of a wave four. And if it is the end of a wave four, it's actually going to end up continuing the uptrend. So that's potentially could be a really good opportunity. 
Worst case scenario, it's not a wave four and it's actually an ABC cretin, and you get out at the end of a wave C, reverse your position, and go sort for the continuation of the downtrend. So let's see where we at S and P five hundred and uh, solo. So I'm definitely not a crypto trader. I've never entered a crypto trade in my life, but I don't mind looking at some of them. And I do analyze Bitcoin every single day for my members. Every single day I analyze Bitcoin for my members. I do believe that Bitcoin is in a wave C right now of wave four. So let's see. So probably uh, this is probably pretty similar to Bitcoin, I would imagine. Definitely a little bit different. This doesn't really look like a wave four. This one looks like like a wave A or something, or maybe even a wave one. That's way different than Bitcoin, actually. Yeah, that's a lot different than Bitcoin. Definitely looks like a downtrend, that's for sure. I wonder if it still could be a wave C, though. Because Bitcoin looks like a wave C, so this one you would think would be a wave C also. Like this is a downtrend, wave A. This is potentially an A. This is potentially three waves down, B. And this is an uptrend for a C. And this would be an A, A, B, C, or B. And then potentially back down... One, two, three, four, five of wave C. I do apologize about my handwriting. For some reason, this pen is kind of lagging today. I don't know why. I'm going to have to, I think, restart my computer after this live stream. Maybe do a uh, clean, like a defragment or whatever, clean the computer up a little bit. It's been a while since I've done that. So I would definitely still be looking for swords, but it might be getting close. So Fibonacci level on the last series of higher highs, higher lows, we're right at the 61.8 right now. It doesn't have to stop here. It could go down to 78.6, and it could even go further than that, obviously. But if Bitcoin is in a wave C, then this is probably a wave C also, and probably will end up continuing back up at some point. So let's see. What else we got? Well, Forex Handler has a bunch of indices to look at. I don't really look at these on a regular basis too, except for the S&P 500, which I do analyze daily for my members. But besides that, I don't really follow the indices too much. Uh, let me go to the stocks page. So US 30. Definitely made a pretty significant turn, didn't they? Definitely uh, either a wave A or a wave 1. Hmm, that looks like three waves up, so hmm, that could even be a wave 1 possibly. I was thinking that uh, all the indices were going to make a big, big push down towards the end of this year, and maybe it could actually happen before that. Maybe this is a wave, uh, not a wave A, but actually a wave 1. It looks like a 1, 2, 3, so I don't think it's over yet. I think it needs to make at least a 3, 4, 5. Then it's probably going to make a cut into this move down, something like this. And then it's either going to make a wave C and go back up, or it's going to make a wave 3 and just keep on going down, which is definitely possible. I do think there's a really good chance that some of these could make a big, big push down. I mean, look at this thing on the 4-hour time frame. Low, uh, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. Until we have a break of the series of lower highs, lower lows, I would definitely be looking for sorts in a downtrend, 100%. Now, if it does break that series of highs, lower lows, lower highs, then it's probably still not even over. It's probably just going to make another, like a wave 4 and then go down for wave 5. Hey, Rocky, how's it going? Nice to see you. So, I mean, I would definitely still be looking for sorts until proven otherwise. Uh... I don't know what the uh, NASDAQ, I can look at NASDAQ for you. Should be pretty similar. Oh man, look at that. That was a perfect end of a cutscene right there. I don't trade the indices very often, but one, two, three waves up. Look at that. That was a perfect end of a cutscene right there. 
I think I had this on my charts from last week, and I said if it makes the end of the curtain, then I would go short. Most of the other uh, indices look like they're in a wave four, so I think there's a good chance this one could be in a wave four too, and then I'll go up one more time for wave five. So I think there's a good chance we might get one more push up, I believe. This one is extremely messy, but I think this is like a leading diagonal wave A. I think this is a one, two, three waves up. Yeah, I see Powers talking tonight, so yeah, definitely pay attention to that. One, two, three, four, five waves down, wave C. Then if we get a break of starts, I would definitely exit my shorts and I would definitely go long. If we don't get that break of starts, I would definitely just keep on going short every single chance I get. I don't even, yeah, I do have the German 40. Yeah, pretty much the same story on this one. Until we get a break of starts uh, to the upside, I would definitely be looking for sorts in a downturn, 100%. Let me get back to Forex. Your Swiss and your pound. That's more more my style. A bunch of people in the group went long to your Swiss today. I didn't actually take it, but I do think that it is going to go long it, when it's ready. I think this is probably a wave A, probably a wave B, probably a wave C, and then probably back up again. One, two, three, four, and five is what I think is that is going to happen there. I think there's a good chance this is going to go up and make a wave B. And I think after that, it's probably going to go down and make a wave C, probably down to the 0.9641 area. And this is going to be an ABC correction, I think. No problem, Forex Handler. Nice to see you. I recognize you from the other live streams that I do, so... Definitely, thanks for stopping by. I'd like to try to do these live streams every Tuesday and every uh, Thursday. So definitely, definitely thank you for stopping by. It's a really good way for me to inter interact with the audience. It's a really good way for me to, uh, to uh, yeah, like I said, in interact with the audience. And uh, thank everybody for liking and subscribing to my channel. Yo, pound. I've... Sorted the yo. I went long the yo pound. My sword. I all kinds of different things to, lately. I was hoping this is the end of the curtain right here, but the more and more it drags on, the less likely I think it really is. I was thinking maybe this is a one, two, three, four, five leading diagonal, and then maybe it would make like an ABC, and then maybe go up. I mean, it's definitely still a possibility. Oh, thanks a lot, Forex Handler. I'd appreciate that. I think you'd be pretty satisfied with the membership if you did join. I uh, definitely, definitely do my best to make sure that people are profitable, especially by uh, sharing my swing trades. Oh, TWP. Yeah, sorry. I just saw that. I'll type the US dollar CAD for you after. Definitely. So, yeah, there you go. This one has been kind of tough lately. I'll be one of the first ones to admit it. I do think it is going to go up again, but it kind of seems like it might go down, hit this fib level, then go up. And it might actually be a leading diagonal wave one on the daily time frame. Yeah, the top down analysis is such an important part, for sure. The full top down analysis. Like uh, my mentor used to say, it's like a roadmap. Your higher time frames are like the roadmap. If I dropped you off in some strange country where you couldn't speak the language and you didn't have your cell phone and you didn't have a map, you would be completely lost. You wouldn't know whether to take a left, take a right, go up, go down. You wouldn't know what to do. Same thing applies with trading. If I put you on the one hour time frame and do not give you any context about what's going on on the higher time frames, you wouldn't know whether to go long, you wouldn't know whether to go short, you wouldn't know what to do. Without your roadmap, you are lost. And I totally, totally agree with that. So I think there's probably one more push down on the euro pound, but I do think that it could make a bigger push up at some point soon. Uh, where are we at? I lost track of where we were. You lost our CAD. Ozzy again. Did I miss a couple people? No. I might have. No, here we go. Yo Swiss, yo pound. We already did the dollar and Aztec. 
and the S&P 500. Uh, SPX 100. Man, I did the S&P 500. U.S. dollar again, and then we'll do the CAD. Uh, we'll do the U.S. dollar again, and then we'll do the dollar CAD. And I think I might have missed somebody on here. If I did, I apologize. U.S. dollar again. Let me go back to these charts for that because I do think that most people do prefer the black background. I definitely don't, but I think most people probably do. These white charts are my own personal charts. These are the charts that I actually trade from. Most people, I think, do not like the white. So my next area of resistance is 155 flat, which is right at this 100% Fibonacci extension, which we are extremely close to it now. We're not quite there yet, but I mean, if it does break such to the downside, I mean, it might miss it by a few pips. So, I mean, if it does miss it, then fine, whatever. But I think it might have a little bit more upside left and then possibly a break of stocks to the downside. Probably ending this last set of trend right here. So until I get some sort of break of stocks to the downside, which I tried to do today, but I definitely didn't, I would definitely still be looking for longs, 100%. Definitely, definitely looking for longs. So, um, for sure, still looking for longs on pullbacks. I wouldn't try to go long now, but I would definitely want to go long on a pullback. U.S. dollar CAD, I mean, to be honest with you, the U.S. dollar CAD is probably not a way to see anymore. I haven't taken the label off, but it probably is not a way to see anymore. I think it's probably about time the label is something different. It could even be a WXY, too. I was thinking about that. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then either five waves down, which would still lead to that result that I've been talking about for months, or maybe three waves down. I mean, three waves down, three waves up, should lead to either three waves down or five waves down, depending on what it does. But at this point, I think it probably is going to take out this high, maybe by a few pips before it actually does go down. Normally when you close above the 78%, then normally it's not going to turn. It's just going to keep on making higher highs, higher lows. We had some uh, a long today on the US dollar CAD. And like I said, we took uh, some really, really good trades today. If anybody does want to go through and pause the video at the beginning, I showed everybody all the trades that I've taken this week so far. These are all the trades that I took with the group. If anybody wants to go through and pause the video, you can see exactly some of the trades that I entered this week. Pretty much all of them, except for maybe one or two of them, are extremely profitable. We've had a really, really good week so far. So if anybody wants to go through, pause the video, and check that out. These are the trades that I share with my members at the time of entry. At the time of entry, that's kind of key word. And I give you my stop loss. Like I said, I do sell all my swing trade setups with the group at the time of entry. I also comes with a trading course. Now you have to keep in mind this is not a signal service. I do not give you my take profits, but I do tell most people when I'm getting out. I this is not a signal service. This is you learning and earning at the same time. It gives you access to my trading course, gives you access to all my educational information on Discord, and gives you access to my nine Zoom meetings that I do a week. I do two on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and I do one every single morning for the London session. So definitely check that out. The link for that is in the chats and in the description. Like I said, definitely check out my Discord channel. I will be doing a 100 USDT giveaway on my Discord channel, probably within the next week or so once I hit 5,000 members. So once I hit that 5,000 members mark, which I'm currently at 4,952, once I hit 5,000 members, I am going to do a $100 giveaway for one of my members. 100 USDT, that is. So in order to participate in that, you have to be a member of the group. Uh, you can be a free member, though. You don't have to be a paying member. Everybody's going to have an equal chance to win, whether you're a paying member or whether you're a free member. It doesn't really matter. So like I said, definitely join the Discord group. It is 100% free to join. You never have to worry about paying a dime. And also, you could possibly win uh, 100 USDT. And I try to do giveaways, you know, at least once a month or so. I haven't done one in a while, but I'm definitely going to start getting back into the habit. 
of doing giveaways once in a while on my Discord channel. It's a really great way to keep, keep people interactive, and it's a really great way, way to keep people happy, obviously. Everybody wants a chance to win $100 free dollars, or 100 free uh, USDT, that is. The Aussie Kiwi, the Aussie Yen, that is. It's definitely going down on the daily, but so far it has not broken Swatza. This is definitely still technically an uptrend. I have it as down because it definitely has been going down. I made it in golf and move it. It's been going down for one, two, three, four, five, six trading days now. So the trend is definitely, it technically according to price stats and the trend is down, but according to structure, the trend is definitely still up because we definitely, definitely have not broken any structure to the downside yet. I still think there's a very good likelihood this is a Kretzen. We are at the 78.6. If this goes up and breaks Swatza, I would go long for sure. I am definitely, definitely still very bullish on the yen pairs. Like I was saying earlier, this is a four-year uptrend that we're looking at. This trend has been going on for over four years on the yen pairs. The big money is definitely still made to the long side on the yen pairs for now. Definitely, definitely, definitely. How long have people been saying? I think probably for more than a year now. I've been hear people. I've been hearing people say the Bank of Japan is going to intervene. The Bank of Japan is going to intervene. Yeah, well, they haven't been able to do nothing yet. That's what's up. Definitely have not been able to do anything yet. I don't really think that they have the ability to do anything. They don't even probably own enough of their own currency to do anything, in my opinion. But still, it is what it is. It's definitely still in an uptrend, and that's all that matters to me for sure. Alright, so let me see. We Aussie again, US dollar CAD, we got we did the pound dollar, we right, did we do the pound? We might not have done the pound. I think we did, but Yeah, we definitely did do a pound. We're sitting right at a fib level on the pound, which I make a video for the pound dollar every day, twice a day actually, but I still think it is gonna go up and then probably down one more time. Maybe it might even go down to sixty one point eight actually, so but now I am definitely, definitely still pretty bearish. I think there's a chance this could make a higher low though. So we do have that PAL speech coming out tonight too. So keep an eye on your dollar pairs. I think there's a good chance this is going to be an A, B, C to the downtrend. Or possibly it could stretch out into a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of wave A. Go up and break structure. Then make a wave B. Then make a wave C. Which would turn into a pretty big move to the upside. Especially if you're a short time frame trader, which probably most people are, because that's what the industry definitely teaches most people to do. Uh, yeah, the power speeds probably will affect gold. Uh, so, we have that power speeds coming out at 6 p.m., which is only. Uh, no, that's not right, I'm sorry. Let's see. Yeah, it's at 6 15 p.m. UK time. But it's not a normal speech. It's not like he's uh, talking in front of an audience. He's talking to uh, some economic forum in Washington, D.C. So I'm not really convinced that it's going to be a big mover, but it definitely could be. And remember, we do have CPI for the Kiwi tonight. That's a pretty big deal. And we also have pound news in the morning at 7 a.m. That's a pretty big deal, too. We got CPI for the pound. They're saying inflation's down a little bit, but we'll see if that's actually the case or not. They're definitely saying that it's down, but we'll see. So, let's see. What else do we got going on here? We did the euro dollar. We did the pound dollar. I'll look at uh, Pe Pepe for Rocky. Rocky. And, yeah, we'll check out uh, Crypto for Rocky, and then we'll go from there. Like I said, definitely like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on upcoming live streams. I do these live streams every Tuesday and Wednesday. It's kind of a good way to uh, give back to the community. You know, take requests from people. Ooh, look at that. Wow, what's up with that? Definitely join my free Discord channel. The Discord channel is 100% free to join, and you possibly could win uh, 100 USDT in a week or so once we hit 5,000 members, which should probably happen next week, I think. Especially if you guys uh, join my Discord channel, which is 100% free to join. The Discord channel is free to join. The membership is $30 a month. 
both of which are very, very, very awesome. Man, look at where this thing went. It went right to the 100% Fibonacci extension perfectly. It looks like three waves down, but man, it might possibly be, it might have found the bottom. It definitely could have found the bottom. I would definitely keep an eye because it seems like it should make another wave down, but this is definitely a trend. This is definitely three waves up. It kind of looks like a one, two, three, like this should be a wave forward. It should go down again. It looks like it should go down again, but boy, it possibly could have found the bottom because of that spike reversal we get on the daily. So obviously I would do the normal things that I always do, which is first of all, I would label this as either an A or one. I would label this as either a B or a two. And if you know how to use Fibonacci, especially Fibonacci extension, and maybe even a channel, then you should be able to tell the difference between a wave three and a wave C. If this is a wave C, then it'll probably go up, take out this high, make a rejection of structure, then go back down. If it's a wave three, it might just keep on making higher highs, higher lows, and this could be the end of a correction on the higher time phase pretty easily. Definitely looks like it could be. Man, it's pretty impulsive up. And that big spike reversal on the daily is pretty, uh, pretty impressive looking. Right at the 100% Fibonacci extension, which is right exactly where a wave C should end. So that could possibly be getting ready for another rally. I hope so, for your sake, definitely. So, like I said, definitely make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I do these live streams every Tuesday and every... Tuesday and every uh, Thursday. Taking your swing trades, you say on all times this. Yeah, hey Vandal, yeah buddy, thanks, I've had an amazing week, definitely, I think we, yeah, we've had about 10 swing trades this week, even though most of them are not swing trades, they're actually more day trades, but. Yeah, well, I do, I do hold trades normally, but these last couple of weeks I haven't, I've been more day trading. I do hold trades though, normally I do hold trades for a few days, definitely. And I normally do put much prefer to swing trade, but these last couple of weeks I've been doing really good with the day trading, so I bet for at least for now that's kind of what I'm doing. Unfortunately, the Pound Aussie trade and a few other little trades that we got in, we sort of held on to, but yeah, I mean, there's a few trades that we sort of held on to, but yeah. A lot of the trades I do enter are more swing trade setups, but like I said, I've been kind of day trading a little bit more than anything these last couple of weeks and doing really, really well with it. So for now, that's what it is. It is what it is. But yeah, it has been a very, very, very profitable last couple of weeks. If anybody would like to join, the website is fxpipwrector.com. It's pretty easy to remember. The, chat, the link is in the chat and in the description. I do these live streams every Tuesday and every Thursday, so definitely make sure you hit that notification bell, like and subscribe to my videos. And as always, I hope everybody enjoys the rest of the day. And as always, thank you and happy trading.